Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about Leeds soft shell turtle. As you can see in the picture, this one is the Leeds soft shell turtle. This was there in news because India has proposed to increase the protection of this turtles in the COP19 of CITES. COP19 means 19th meeting of the conference of parties of the CITES organization. So CITES, you will have to know about the details of CITES as well. I will tell you detail in later. So there was an organization's meetings going on and the meeting, the name is known as COP19 because it was a 19th meeting of this CITES. Okay, so in that meeting, India has proposed for increasing the protection of this particular turtle and this was approved in that meeting. That is the 19th meeting of CITES. That is why this is very important to know the details of this turtle. First, let us see what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. So, as you can see in the picture, this have a significant difference between this two species. In short, we can say that or one of the major difference between these two are the tortoise or this picture second is designed more to spend its life in the land area. Okay, as we can say that tortoise are more seen in land and turtles are adapted to their water life. Okay, so you can see that uh, its legs is more adapted to live in the water in case of turtle whereas the tortoise you can see that the legs of this tortoise is little bit rough and there are many uh, difference in the features which are very small small in nature but in general we have to know that turtles are more seen in the water whereas tortoises are more seen in the land area even though we will see we will say that these are reptiles which can live both in water as well as land but specifically we can see that they are more seen in water uh, i mean turtle and uh, tortoise we can say that they are more seen in land area okay so if we are looking at the these creatures in live we can know because uh, the turtle will be a little more soft because they are more in water and uh, tortoise will be a little more rough because as uh, they are working walking through the rough areas okay so this is the major difference between these two and now as you got the idea of this uh, species now let us see what a scientist is because India has proposed or put forward this proposal in CITES okay so what is the importance of this CITES actually CITES the expansion is given here that is the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora so from the expansion itself you can understand that there is something which is related to the international trade of endangered species okay it is said that convention on the international trade in endangered species okay so they are prohibiting the international trade of endangered species and includes both fauna as well as flora okay so endangered species which are which can be either fauna and flora which are wild in nature okay if there is any international trade is happening in case of this thing then it will be dealt by the scientists okay so we will see the details that it's an international agreement between the governments. So India is also part of the CITES and uh, there are many countries which are a part of this CITES and the main objective of the CITES is that 
preservation of the planet's plant and animals by ensuring that the international trade in their specimen does not threaten their survival okay so if we have an animal in india which is very threatened for its life and anybody is trying to trade that particular animal to another country then it will be coming under the policy of the cites and if we are conducting cites uh, for the prevention of the international trade of this particular organism they will take measure to control the international trade okay so that is what is happening in the cites forum okay this was adopted in 1963 and entered into force in 1975 and it has three appendix say appendix 1 appendix 2 and apex 3 okay so in india we have our own measures to protection uh, for the protection of the species including flora and the fauna like we have wildlife protection act 1972 in which we are categorizing species or animals and plants based on their threat like we have red list or or we are categor- categorizing them as threatened endangered critically endangered etc so likewise these are also putting animals in different appendixes based on its threat level okay so in appendix 1 they will be adding the animals into this appendix 1 based on their threat level so appendix 1 consist of animals which are threatened with extinction so if one step is ahead they will not be any more in the earth okay so such kind of animals are included in the appendix 1 and uh, as a part of cites measures cites prohibits the international trade in the specimen of these species except for some activities like scientific research and any activities which is not commercial so it clearly prohibits the international trade of an animal which is threatened with extinction for any commercial use okay so it allows some trade but that is only purely for not commercial purposes like scientific research okay so appendix 1 contain animals which are threatened with extinction okay and appendix 2 contain there are two more appendix 1 2 3 okay appendix 2 contains species that are not necessary threaten now okay but they may get extinct in the future okay unless the trade is completely controlled so such kind of animals are included under appendix 2 so the animals which are threatened with extinction are un- included under appendix 1 the species which are not under extinction for the time being now but make it extinct in the future if the international trade is not controlled will be added in appendix 2 now let us see what will come under appendix 3 this include species a country may request to include under the appendix 3 only to regulate the trade okay that is uh, a country want to regulate the trade of a particular species and need the cooperation of other countries okay in order to prevent the illegal exploitation of that particular species so that they can control the exploitation okay if india want an animal to be protected but that is not having any kind of species extinction kind of threat but it should be protected species okay and we want the cooperation of other countries to prevent the illegal trade internationally if any country is involved in such kind of trade uh, if that country is taking measures against that trade that will be helpful for our country such kind of animals are included under appendix 3 so animals which need to be controlled trade are, ungl- uh, are included up under appendix 3 and which is not threatened with extinction at present but may undergo extinction or under appendix 2 uh, the species which are threatened with extinction are under appendix 1 okay so you understood 
what all are the appendixes of cytis so india in the cop 19 that is conference of party cop means conference of parties that is the conference of all the countries which are member to the cytis it's an organization which have so many members as countries when all these member countries participate and form a conference that is known as conference of parties or the member countries and this is the 19th meeting of that cytis so that is why it is known as cop 19 okay so in this meeting india proposed to, to protect our tortoise species that is the leaf soft shell turtle and to improve increase the protection which is given to the this particular turtle now okay so what india wanted was that india wanted to increase its protection from appendix 2 to appendix 1 earlier it was getting protection under appendix 2 and now it wanted to increase its protection to appendix 1 so that is what is approved in this cop 19 of cytis okay so we will be getting the protection to our soft shell turtle leads soft shell turtle from now onwards okay so why this what is the advantages for us for india is that from now onwards the whole countries who are part of the cytis will be aware of this protection and they will prevent the commercial trade internationally of this particular turtle and if any one is not obeying this control or is is anyone is trading this particular turtle internationally we can give penalty to them and the penalty now given will be more as it is having more protection under appendix 1 of the cytis okay so now you got what is turtle and also what is this cytis okay so we got our protection what we have asked for and now let us see the speciality of this leaf soft shell turtle actually this is a large fresh water turtle and it is soft shelled turtle that is why it is known as leaf soft shell turtle okay and the speciality is that it is endemic to peninsular india okay so this is an endemic species so we should be protect we should protect this turtle very carefully okay this is not seen anywhere else in the world and is endemic species so we should have provide more protection to this particular species okay next let us see what are all the threat for this particular species of turtle the main threat is of poaching and uh, trading to foreign countries so the poaching we are taking care of it from india itself because we have already included this in the critically endangered list of iucn red list and uh, also in the schedule 4 of the wildlife protection act of 1972 so as it is in the schedule 4 of the wildlife protection act of 1972 it will be an offense if somebody is involved in the poaching of this particular turtle okay so if someone is taking uh, this uh, turtle and it is killing then it will be considered as an offense as per the wildlife protection act of 1972 and more than that it is also included under the red list of iucn Uh, the status is critically endangered so it is getting more consideration in the iucn red list okay this is also very protected species that is why it is getting this red, critically endangered status of iucn red list okay so this is very endangered species so we should have more and more care to protect this species to prevent it from going to extinction okay so uh, the main threat are poaching and trading to foreign countries Uh, they are mainly doing this poaching in order to eat the meat okay this is very uh, commercial purpose they are poaching this for uh, for taking the meat for consumption and are also 
illegally traded to foreign countries for meat purpose okay so these are the main threat for uh, this particular turtle um, and when we are adding this to the cytis 1 not cytis 1 appendix 1 of the cytis we will be getting more protection internationally and also we will be able to give more care to the leaf soft shell turtle okay so this is regarding an overall view regarding this particular topic and the protection and the care uh, and what are the steps that will be given by the scientists regarding this soft shell turtle okay so that's all regarding this topic thank you